Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be going over how to glaze and add color to the pottery that we have put into the kiln for the first time. There are a couple of things that you really want to know about glazing. The first thing is that our glaze is going to be in these little jars here and we have a bunch of different colors to choose from. You're going to be able to choose as many colors as you want and you can add different colors on top of each other. The first thing that you need to do with your pottery is to take one of your sponges, dip it in some clean water, and then wipe off your pottery so that there's no dust on it. You wanna get the inside and the outside. It doesn't have to be soaking wet, but you're just cleaning off the pottery so that there's no dirt to cause the glaze to not stick to it. What happens if you don't clean off your pottery is sometimes you can have your glaze flake off in the kiln. This is an example of a piece of pottery where they did not clean it off properly beforehand, and you can see that the glaze didn't stick to the clay. There was dirt underneath of it, and it caused it to literally peel away from the piece of pottery. So make sure that you wipe off your pottery before you add your glaze to it. The next reminder that you want to remember is when you are getting ready to pick your colors, you wanna make sure your lid is screwed on really tightly, and then you're going to shake it up. When you shake it up, you want to have a hand on the lid and a hand on the jar, and you're gonna shake it away from your face. You want it to have that gloopy glop sound. The reason you wanna make sure it's screwed on tight and then you shake it away from your face is because if you don't hold it and you shake it at your face, you could end up with a mouthful or a face full of glaze and that's not gonna be fun. Make sure you shake up all your glazes before you start to paint them on your pottery. The last thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up your glaze and you can start to paint it onto your cup or whatever piece of pottery you have. Make sure you have water, a paper towel, and your sponge nearby if you need to wipe anything off. When you paint your glazes on, you want to put at least three coats of glaze onto your piece of pottery. The way that I remember how to do this is you're going to dip your paintbrush in, paint it one direction, over all the spots that you wanna paint, wait for it to dry, and then you can paint it the opposite direction. Wait for that second coat to dry, then you can go back the first direction you did. If you don't put three coats of glaze onto your pottery, your glaze can sometimes turn out a little bit uneven. And so you can see inside the cup that there are some darker areas and lighter areas. You can see through to the clay a little bit more, and that's because they didn't do a good even three coats of glaze. You can mix two different colors or even three different colors on your pottery if you would like. You just have to make sure that you wash your brush out really well in between colors. And then you're gonna shake up your other colors really well. And you can either put them in a different spot on your pot or you can overlap them to see what they would look like mixed together, which would be really cool. If you're overlapping colors, you only need three coats total. But if you're putting colors in different areas, make sure all of your areas are covered with three coats of glaze. The last thing you wanna remember is to not glaze the bottom of your pot. If you get glaze on the bottom, it will literally fuse itself to the kiln and it will be really difficult to get off the bottom. And then you'll have all of these little bad textured areas on the bottom of your pot. If you accidentally get some glaze on the bottom of your pot, all you're gonna do is take your damp sponge and wipe it right off. It doesn't even matter if it's dried on there. It will come off with a wet sponge if you wipe it. 
You can try out all different glaze combinations. You could do your glazes in a different pattern. You could have different areas be different colors. The inside could be different from your outside. That could also be different from your handle. So try out all different things and experiment and have fun.